hey friends and family welcome back to another video today we're going to be making a requested video cheese bread jamaican cheese bread thank you for stopping by if you're not yet a part of my family please go ahead and click that like or follow button and if you're watching from youtube please go ahead and hit that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it all right so let's get straight into the video i hope you're all having a great day so to start off i have one cup of milk and i add a quarter cup of water Bear in mind that this is warm milk and warm water. I'm adding a tablespoon of granulated sugar to help activate my yeast. And this is a yeast that I usually use. It's a dry active yeast. All right, so add one pocket to that. I'm going to mix it up and I'm going to set it aside for about 10 minutes and allow it to start activate. All right, in the meantime, I'm going to prepare my flour. I'm using bread flour. You can use all purpose flour but I'm using bread flour. I'm just using my whisk to get it nice and smooth. Then I'm gonna add my salt and combine that with my whisk as well. And then I'm going to add my sugar. All the ingredients will be listed down below in the comment section. And if you're watching from YouTube, it will be in the description box. All right, after combining the sugar, we are gonna add our yeast. As you can see, it's now nice and foamy and this is how you want it. Now I'm going to add my egg, which is room temperature. We need the egg to be room temperature. If it's cold, it's going to slow down the rising of your dough and you don't want that. So you don't want anything hot because that will kill the yeast and you don't want to use anything cold. All right. That is why I warm my milk and my water. I do add it to my mixer, my stand mixer and mix it sometimes but today i'm using my hands i normally alternate because some people always say what if we don't have any mixer all right so today we're going to knead it with our hands i just added my my butter and i'm using soft room temperature butter all right so we're just going to knead this you want to knead this for about five to ten minutes if you can manage if not five minutes it's fine if you're using your mixer you can go ahead and do it from eight to ten minutes all right so we're going to mix, we're going to knead it until it's nice and soft. If it's too sticky on your hand, you can go ahead and add some oil, but please do not add any flour. I give you the perfect amount of ingredients. So don't add any flour because that's going to change the texture of your dough and make your bread dry. And you want it to be nice and soft. So as you can see, I just add some oil so that it's easier to manage on the hands. All right, so... I'm just going to continue kneading this for five minutes and then I'm going to roll it up into a ball and set it in a pan to rise for one hour. So when I place it in the pan, I'm going to make sure that I grease the bottom of the pan so that when I'm ready to remove it, it's not sticky or anything. It's not sticking to the pan or anything. All right. And I'm also going to grease the top of the dough because I'm going to cover this with a plastic wrap and I don't want it to stick to the plastic wrap either when it rises. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that I put this in a warm area of your kitchen. If you're living in a country that is cold, you want to find the warmest part of your kitchen, maybe in the oven or in the microwave, somewhere warm and just cover it properly. You can put a film wrap over it and then you can put a kitchen towel over it to make sure that there is no air going on the inside. All right. If the house is extremely cold, you could put like a pan of warm water close to it so that it keeps it warm, but not directly on it. All right. So it's one hour. It has doubled in size and here it is. It's ready. You want to just punch it with your fist to remove all the air bubbles that was created when this was rising yeah and then we're going to put it on our work surface cut it up and shape it into our bread as you can see it's nice and soft you can stretch it yeah that's the texture that you want and it's easy to manage it's not sticking to my hands or anything all right so now i'm going to cut it up as you all know i am not good with size but i try to get them on the same size so I have here in this plate some Jamaican tasty cheese. All right. You can use your sliced cheese or processed cheese, grated cheese, whichever one you want to use, go ahead and use it. I'm just going to take a piece of my dough and I'm going to flat it out like I'm making roti or pizza. 
but not too thin because you don't want the cheese to poke out all right so i'm gonna use a spoon to kind of mash the cheese out as well so that it doesn't create any problem or bore the dough all right you don't want it to pierce the dough so i'm just gonna use it to kind of crush it up a little bit and then add it you know when you buy the cheese bread in jamaica after you make about three or four bites before you, f you taste any cheese at all so when you make your own you can put whatever amount of cheese that you want to add in there if you like a lot of cheese you can add a lot of cheese just make sure that the dough is nice and thick and it's not going to pierce through so after creating a pocket for the cheese i now pinch all the sides in and i'm pinching it all the way around so that there is no space for the cheese to leak out all right and just like when you're making bun you're going to place it on the bottom of your surface and you're going to roll it to smooth out the bottom of the bun all right so just make sure that there is no space at all for the cheese to leak out when it's baking otherwise it's going to burn yeah you don't want that all right so you roll it on your surface until it is nice and smooth and then you place it aside for the ones that I already done, I'm going to continue covering them with plastic wrap because we don't want too much air to touch them. All right. Even if you if you're working really slow, you can also cover the ones that you haven't done already. Just cover them with a piece of plastic wrap or a kitchen towel so that they can stay nice and warm. So this one is done. As you can see, it's nice and smooth on the top. That's how you want it. And it's really nice and soft. So as I've said before, just go ahead and cover the ones that you have done already um, with a plastic wrap as you continue to work. And let me show you one more. You just flat it out like you're making a roti, not too thin. As I said before, add your cheese to the center, your desired amount of cheese, of course. And then you're going to pinch all the sides in and create a flat surface at the bottom. And you're going to get that flat surface by putting it on your work surface whether it be your counter or your cutting board or whatever and just secure the top with the palm of your hands and just roll like you see me doing here for this one i'm adding sliced velveta cheese so that just in case somebody watching and they don't have the tasty cheese i'm just showing you that you can use whatever cheese that you desire all right or whatever cheese you have at home with you all right so right here i have my baking pan lined with parchment paper i am placing them at least two inches apart because they're going to rise again all right and we don't want them to touch like when you're making a dinner roll it's okay if they touch but we don't want them to touch because we want them single so i just use my fingers to just flatten the top because we want them to be nice and broad all right gently tap the top of them and then i'm going to cover them again with plastic wrap and my kitchen towel and we're going to set them aside for about 20 to 30 minutes until they double in size and then we're ready to bake i have my oven preheated at 350 degrees they have doubled in size and i make a little wash with some milk and sugar and we're going to add that to the top so that it can get a nice brown top just like the cheese bread in Jamaica it has like a nice brown top you can use egg wash as well so they're out of the oven it these took 15 minutes to bake and they were ready all right so we're gonna just grease the top of them if you want to use some coconut oil or some melted butter fine we're just gonna grease the top and our cheese bread is ready I'm just gonna break one open for you and for myself as well because yeah I'm ready to eat some cheese bread. It was piping hot. I could Ooh, barely hot. break it, but I wanted to show you guys the inside. All right, look at this. It was so cheesy and so good. It's almost done already, I promise you. These were so nice and so hot and so yummy and delicious. So I didn't write down the name of the person that requested this video, but um, I hope she's watching. And thank you all so much for watching. I promise you this is better than store-bought. <laughs> okay? Better than store-bought. So thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoy. And I look forward to having you back on my next video. I hope you're all healthy and feeling okay. And don't forget to show some love to your friends and your neighbors. Until then, I'll see you guys in my next one.